So here we have our novice N1030T, um, the timer model. And we've got two timers set here. T1 is the soak timer. So when we reach our set point of 100 degrees C, um, we're gonna count down for 30 seconds in this case. It would in practice be a lot longer. Um, before T2 runs and what T2 is going to do is it's going to sound our little alarm here to tell us that the process is um, complete and at the end of T2 the controller is going to shut down automatically so if you've got one of these timers um, you'll probably know all about the different configurations you can run um, but we're just going to press our P button here and you'll see we've got a this is T1 that's being displayed currently so this is going to start counting down now the controller needs to stabilize at set point um, just a little and then you'll start to see that value drop which means it's doing its soak period um, and then after that our second timer T2 is going to run and T2 dictates how long this alarm here is going to sound for which is wired to output 2. So any second now we should see that start to count down. There we go and once our 30 seconds has elapsed T2 is going to run to tell us, yes, we've reached set point, yes, we've soaked for 30 seconds, and really you either need to come and check it, or it's just going to switch off automatically. So we're getting close now, as you can see. don't need to press anything at this stage and we're off and you can see the controller has completely switched itself off in terms of the outputs um, so if we go into our P button you'll see that run is no so the controller isn't running anymore if it's a heating process it's just going to cool down um, and the way to get the process to run again in this instance would be to cycle to run yes which we're not going to do we're just going to run through some of the parameters that we've got set here. So a single press of the P button is um, essentially the operator menu. So very simple set of things you can adjust here. This is T1, which you can see. This is the T1 display. So it's going to show the current temperature. We're in degrees Celsius. And it's going to show the current status of the timer. So as you could see before, that counted down when we reached set point. Uh, we've got T1 here, so this is the actual time of T1. This is one we can adjust. Um, we're going to leave that on 30 seconds. Run no. Well, normally, obviously, when you first switch the controller on, it will be in run, but you can also set these timers up and the controller to work from the F key. So rather than keep having to switch it off or cycle through the menus, just a single press of the F key. Um, we'll, we'll get onto that shortly. So that's the operator menu. Now press and hold a little bit longer. You can see the first sort of step in this menu is auto-tune. We're already auto-tuned, so no issues there. And we can ignore these values because the controller has determined them from the auto-tune process. Our action, um, it's reverse action, we're heating here. Now output one is the control output. We've got that wired to our solid state relay. Um, there's nothing particularly unusual about that. But output two is set to T2 here, and that is important. So where we have our relay contacts that we covered in the wiring um, video, it relates to this output here, and T2 is what uh, dictates this. So although we're using an alarm, it's not actually an alarm uh, occurrence as such. There's no fault with the controller. It just means it's ran its um, sequence and it's shutting down. Um, so yeah, they're the first two menus in effect, and the important one, this one here, which starts with T1. So T1's enabled, the counting direction is down, as we could see previously. Um, how does the timer start? Well, it starts on set point. There are various different ways we can adjust that, but in this instance, it's on set point. And T2, what's the T2 value? So 10 seconds. And what's the behavior of the outputs when we reach set point? Um, basically switch them off after the timers have expired, of course. 
and our time base is in seconds obviously um, in reality most processes would be in minutes but that's fine we can adjust that again um, up and down we'll leave it in seconds and that really has covered everything um, so I hope this has been helpful thank you